Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the all new 2023 Land Rover Range Rover Sport. There is a lot new about this vehicle, not just all the interior details, it's got more horsepower, and there's some new trim levels, and there is a plug in hybrid. And the best part, more V8 horsepower. There's a lot of changes for this vehicle. This vehicle is more than just a four door, five passenger SUV. It is all about luxury, it's upper crust image and great performance both on-road and off-road. And you may not realize this, but these vehicles are really very popular on a global basis. Let's get started with some of the changes. You'll see that LED headlight. You'll notice this revamp styling just keeps things nice and clean. There's also a blackout package, which this has. They have a special name for it, but it gives all of the black logos, all the black details. That includes the fins on the hood, the side detail on the fenders, and blackout details around the windows. All Range Rover Sports ride on 23-inch alloy wheels with Pirelli tires. These are Scorpion Zeros. This 5,400-pound luxury SUV has a four-year, 50,000-mile warranty, and that includes the powertrain. There is no scheduled maintenance that is included. Now, let's get back to the vehicle itself. It has what the Velar had originally, which is the handles that fold in, and it's really nice and clean. It's not that unusual these days, but it's a nice feature to have. The mirrors fold in when you're not near there. There's also cameras that are located here for the around view camera and also for your puddle lamps. Going further back, you've got all this blackout trim making this vehicle very modern. It's actually very sexy and it's super clean. Coming around to the back, this is where you're gonna see an even more modern update. You have your upper wing here with your third tail light. But what Land Rover did, which I wish more manufacturers would do, is they tuck that wiper up underneath this wing. Why is that important? The wiper blade doesn't get damaged and it makes for a super clean look. And you can see it's just really smooth and clean. LED tail lights, sport in black, because this is the blacked out package, which is an option. Range Rover black on black, very cool. Super clean lines, LED lights here. I love the big exhaust pipes that are chrome and towing capacity is 7,716 pounds. It's a big V8 engine, it should be able to tow. What are you towing? Well, something luxury like this, I think it's gonna be something pretty cool, maybe even a car on a trailer, maybe a Jaguar. As far as visibility, the backup camera, is spectacular, crystal clear. There's even the ability to wash. You can change the perspectives if you're off-road or if you're towing. All of that is right here, easy to use. Visibility is excellent. You're in a high seating position. You've got lots of forward glass. You can see out the back, there's a big piece of glass, which a lot of SUVs, you can't see out the back or there's limited visibility, but you've got a nice rear view mirror here that is also a camera and that is huge because you won't back into anything or if you got a bunch of junk in the trunk and people back there and you can't see out the back you just use that rear view camera the front and the rear seats are heated and you can make those adjustments right here on the screen in front of you if you want to go into the adjustments you can adjust the passenger and the driver's seat the driver's seat has 22-way adjustability of course there is lumbar we won't even have to go there going further back you can fold the seats you can fold them all. You can go into show, chauffeur mode as well. And the nice thing is, it's just a matter of pressing a button and it's handled. And I can just do fold. Again, this is a little bit complicated and takes a little bit of learning, but what you will gain is an amazing vehicle. And if you want to put that seat back, just do unfold. And it's literally doing it as we sit here. Heated ventilated seats all the way around. The most amazing, beautiful leather seats that are perforated for the ventilation. Really top of the line materials, but you wouldn't expect anything less, especially at this price point. The rear seats are 60-40 split seats and they are bench. The rear seats are not just heated and ventilated, but they also recline, lots of adjustability, good for child safety seats and good for anyone's comfort. The rear seats are absolute pure luxury and all four seats with the optional audio system have speakers in the headrests so that you get the best audio. The second row has pockets behind each of the seats, two stage heated seats and ventilation, three stage heated, three stage ventilated seats. Beautiful materials, just spectacular materials. 
and you can see all the adjustability is on the door. Really, really nicely done. And when you press this button, you have a cup holder. Press this button and it goes into a center console. Very nice materials, just really, really nice and clean. Real aluminum, real leather, but hey, would you expect anything less? Underneath, there are three different charge ports, so you can always be charging. The Meridian audio system is built right into these door panels, really nice and clean. When it comes to technology and features, one of the big improvements in the design component of this Range Rover is the fact that they went with a minimalist approach, reducing the number of buttons and switches and just streamlining everything. The interior materials are genuine leather and upholstery, real chrome, real aluminum. I mean, they've really done a nice job. One of the cool things they did is they curved this center screen. It's a piece of glass. It's really nice, but they curved it to kind of make it so that you could see it in the vehicle no matter where you are. This large 13.1 inch curved touch screen is part of what Land Rover calls PIVI Pro. It's the interface. And that includes the navigation right here. You can touch it really easy, super quick processing. Not that it was slow before. You've got your media. You can pick what you want to do with their media. And then again, you can connect your phone or just slide it across if you're going off road. That information's right here and you can customize this. So it just says I'm at a minus two angle right now. Uh, your sent direction, you can go do your wheel information for locking your differentials. Your, if you want to wade in water, yes, this thing can wade over three feet of water, it's crazy. And I've done it, it's, it's amazing. Hopefully I never have to use that. Uh, energy impact, as far as what you're using, how much energy you're using, which is a nice little feature they've added. And then your driving style, so all that has changed. Now you can go into the different settings here as well. Your seat settings are here. And not just that, is you can adjust them anywhere you want and then more allows you to adjust the rear seats, fold them if necessary for bringing things into the vehicle. Now going back to the different settings, you have a valet mode, you get your vehicle dimensions, which is good if you need to get in some tight space, low traction, your media, all of this is right here, your park assist for self-parking, Alexa, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. The audio system is a 29 speaker Meridian stereo system with optional speakers that would go in the head rest both front and rear. So really nice wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Of course, you got your Amazon Alexa, wireless charging ports, and also there's an integrated air purification system that is available, and that of course would be an option. The screen in front of you is 13.7 inches, and it is adjustable. You can change the information. You can turn on your driver assist systems here on the right side of the steering wheel. On the left side of the steering wheel, you can change that information that is in front of you. And of course you've got paddle shifters and stocks here as well. Paddle shifters on a vehicle like this are really good for off-road purposes. Of course, your wiper blades are right there. Below this very cool screen is a wireless charging port. Then you've got your climate control. If you've been in a Land Rover or a Range Rover before, or even a Jaguar, you'll see that you can push down to get your heated seats and you can push back or you can pull up if you want the ventilated seats or automatic. It's all, it's all right here, super easy to use. And again, this is something you have to get comfortable with. Uh, your shifter is right here, start, stop button volume, your drive modes, you can go to different drive modes. And as you do, you can go into comfort, eco, dynamic, which is my favorite, the sport mode. Then you've got your off-road mode, grass and gravel and snow, mud and ruts, sand, rock crawl, and wading through water. It changes all the features, the ride height, the shift points, the suspension, fully adjustable to each drive mode. Really, really important. Behind that, you have your cup holders. You can actually hide items down in here and there's more charge ports right there. Good thing to put whatever you wanna hide that you don't want people to see. And then also, there's another cover on top, just to keep your privacy. One of the things that Land Rover has is this is unusual and you don't see this in many vehicles. Of course, it's starting to get more popular to use that upper cover here for more storage. There's plenty of storage in the doors and all the materials are real. You are looking at a fabric that feels recycled actually. Real leather, there's real aluminum. They've done a nice job of making it so that you will feel very comfortable in this very nicely redesigned interior. Super clean and modern. And speaking of safety, this vehicle has all safety standard. 
And that's really important because when you have a vehicle of this size, you shouldn't have to buy up into safety. And Land Rover and Range Rover have figured that out, that their customers want all of that. They want the safety, they want the performance, they want the technology, and they've done that, especially with this redesign. It's very impressive. And this vehicle will run for World Car of the Year in the SUV category. And I'll tell you, it's pretty darn nice. Looks good. It's easy to use, although the center screen, you just have to get used to it. I think that's the one thing that people just aren't used to. But you, you know, it's easy to use. It's all touch screen, so it's super, super simple. Under the hood is a trio of powertrains, including a hybrid inline six cylinder, a plug-in hybrid inline six, and a mega power twin turbocharged V8, which is the one we have here. This is the first edition. The first engine is the base P360 and the SE trim, turbocharged inline six cylinder with a 48 volt mile hybrid architecture. Produces 355 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. The P400 is powered by an SE dynamic trim. High output version of this powertrain develops 395 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. The P440E or autobiography trim is a full plug-in hybrid or PHEV and bumps the output out to 434 horsepower backed with a 31.8 kilowatt hour battery pack for a 48 mile electric drive range. Our test vehicle is the P531st edition, which is the full bore twin turbocharged gasoline 4.4 liter V8 engine. It produces 523 horsepower, 533 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 time, 4.3 seconds, Fuel economy is 21 miles to the gallon combined. A pure EV is coming in 2024. All models come with an 8-speed automatic transmission, standard all-wheel drive, and adjustable air suspension. Optional performance driving setup called the Stormer Handling Pack adds rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring systems. Towing capacity on our test vehicle is 7,716 pounds. Zero to 64.3 seconds. All right, now we're talking. It's got good power. That's way past 60. That's way more power than most people need, but when you have a big vehicle like this, remember, it weighs a lot. And because of that, you wanna make sure that you've got the power to get up and go, but you also want the brakes. And that this vehicle has, nice, firm, big brakes, just slows this vehicle down. And that's what you need. If you have not driven a Land Rover or a Range Rover in a long time, you need to take one of these for a spin, especially if you're looking at some of the competitors in this category, because the competitors are all fighting to have this off-road capability, because Land Rover has the top off-road ability and everybody knows it. I like the pickup on this car too. So mid-range, you're going along, you wanna accelerate, it picks it up right away. I think, again, those are things that are important when you need to pass, when you need to avoid an accident, when you're on an on-ramp. All those things are when you really can tell the difference. Even in eco mode, which I was driving in originally from my first zero to 60 launch, I was still pretty impressed. I mean, you, this is a pretty heavy vehicle, and so you really have to think about who's driving this? What are you using it for? This is a vehicle you could have fun with every day, a little spirited. You could do it off-road, on-road. But the one thing that's important is you have a vehicle like this, there's no limitations. And that is really important. And part of that is where this vehicle is sold, which is a global vehicle. So you'll see these vehicles all around the world. They'll use them in the Middle East, they'll use them in, you name the country, and these vehicles are really popular. This is the ultimate in luxury, the ultimate in success, showing people, I'm not just driving an SUV, I'm driving a Range Rover. And it's a Range Rover Sport. And it's a first edition, which really just steps it up that much more. When it comes to storage, there is quite a bit. 32 cubic feet of storage back here, and there is ways to organize that. But if you put those second row seats down, you're at 66 cubic feet of storage. One of the options it has is a nice little area for small packages. If you just get one or two bags of groceries, they won't slide around. Very nicely designed. Put that down. Underneath this cover is a full-size spare tire and that is super important in a vehicle of this size. In addition, there is hooks on both sides for plastic bags so they don't fall all over the back seat. A power outlet, additional storage for your owner's manual or emergency items, 
And this is a really interesting thing you won't see on most vehicles. First off, that will fold down the rear seats. Not a problem. Boom. And there you go, seat folds down. But a vehicle at this price point, that should be the case. And you can put it back up by pressing that same lever. Now, if you need to lower the rear of the vehicle, maybe to put a dog in or something heavy, you can do that by pressing this button and the vehicle will go down. And that puts on a light for the back as well. Very well designed, very, very nice. When you're taking a look at the 2023 Land Rover Range Rover Sport, it starts at $84,000. That'll get you the base engine. We have the first edition with the big V8, which is the way I would like it. It starts at 122.9. That is a hefty starting price, which kind of brings me into the pros and cons. Performance wise, that is a massive plus and a pro. Amazing mix of sport, luxury and off-road capability that no one else comes close to. They want to, but this is the benchmark in that particular balance of getting that iconic, classy, upper crust look. Definitely accomplished. Love the new look, both inside and out, the high quality materials. On the negative side, you do have to get used to that PIVI Pro setup, which is that center screen. Once you figure it out, super easy to use and it's very intuitive, but initially it does take a little bit of education on your part. Starting price at almost $123,000, well, that is kind of high. Because look at the competitors, BMW, X5, X7, Mercedes-Benz GLE, Volvo XC90, even the Genesis GV80 and the Porsche Cayenne are in this sweet spot. But when you're talking about the best in off-road capability with performance and sport, this is the cream of the crop. They know it and that's why they sell so many Land Rover Range Rover Sports. Now I did not cover every single little detail on this vehicle and there is a lot more to this vehicle. Put it in the comments down below. I'm happy to answer your questions and you're spending this kind of money. You definitely want to get those answers satisfied before you sign on the bottom line. I'm sure you have additional questions. Put them down in the comments below. I am more than happy to answer your questions. When you're buying a vehicle at this price point, you certainly want to get all your questions answered before you sign on the bottom line. We have driven all the competitors in this category, so make sure to check them out on our channel. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below in the description, as well as for the website, the podcast, the social media, and of course, the book. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. Hopefully you love this vehicle as much as we did. This is one of those ones I just don't want to hand back. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.